I'll never forget waking up early in the morning and driving down to to the surf ranch and this is prior to be, being called the surf ranch we called it kelly's pool we didn't really know what to call it at the time no one had ever ridden a wave it was the first time it was going to be surf kelly had flown in the night before from fiji and we were all ready to, to document what was going to be an incredible day of surfing what we thought had never been ridden we didn't know what it was like and the water was freezing the, it was 48 degrees and after the morning surf kelly was like you know i really want to be the first guy to to wear board charts and so he put on board shorts after lunch and got this wave and I'll never forget the first wave I saw I was standing behind Kelly shooting photos of his reaction there's a photo where he, he has his arms up and it's in purple light and after that wave broke we were just like this is the greatest man-made wave that's ever existed and I remember peeking over my camera seeing what the next wave was going to do because typically in the ocean when there's a set of waves you know they come in two or three or four and I looked over and I'm like oh my gosh we're, we're in a wave pool we're, we're 100 miles from the coast it, that's a feeling I'll, I'll never forget but Kelly got this wave and, and we made the image and I was standing on the, the opposite end the north end of the pool and I was shooting with a 700 millimeter lens and this day I was the only photographer when people came in you had to put your cell phone in a basket so there were there was a film crew and then I was the only still camera allowed in, in the area and I remember after this wave uh, John Moore who was the creative director of the project looked at me and he goes are you nervous? He's like, you're the only one shooting. I'm like, well, if I wasn't nervous enough now, I I'm certainly am right now. And when we made this image, we thought it'd be really cool to make it black and white, kind of make it ambiguous. And it's kind of a, you know, homage to some of the classic images that Kelly and I have made in the past, but even more so to the film that him and Richard Wol Wolcott made in 1991, uh, Kelly Slater in black and white. So from a photography standpoint, anytime I can make an image in black and white, it, it becomes more about the shape and and the texture and the lines of the image rather than the color because color can really um, move you emotionally in a way but I think with black and white um, you know you, you remove that emotional element and it, and it really becomes more factual in that sense so this is one of my favorite images and I'm so grateful for Kelly and the team for allowing me to to be there to document the special image.